Well, welcome to back to school night virtual style for ecology class here at Canandaigua Academy. Allow me to introduce myself. Uh, I'm Dave Platten. That's my picture there. Sorry to scare you. Um, this is about ecology and I'll give you a little information about the class, a little bit of information about myself and a little bit of my history. So let's start out. I grew up in Jordan, New York. Um, I am a proud alumni of the Jordan Elbridge High School, which is the Jordan Elbridge Eagles. Um, I won't tell you which year I graduated from Jordan Elbridge, but suffice it to say it was a couple years ago. I, from Jordan Elbridge, I moved on to St. Lawrence University. I am, a, I am an alumni of St. Lawrence University. My degree is in uh, chemistry. I was a chemist there studying both analytical chemistry and environmental chemistry. After after college, I went out to Boston and I worked as an environmental analytical chemist in Boston, Massachusetts for a couple different firms, uh, Cambridge Anal Analytical Associates, uh, which was bought by National Environmental Testing. And then I went to work as an environmental consultant at Meta Environmental, also in Boston. I worked for there for quite a year, quite a few years, and then realized that that lifestyle and that occupation was not the most healthy. So I decided to move back to Jordan. And when I went back to Jordan, I got involved uh, with teaching. And so I um, went and got uh, my teaching certificate at Lemoyne College. Uh, Lemoyne College is, is located there in Syracuse. After I went to Lemoyne College, I went and started teaching uh, as a substitute at Jordan Elbridge Junior Senior High School my alumni, home, my hometown. Uh, after a year of that, I moved to Corcoran High School, which is in the city of Syracuse. There at Corcoran, I was the math and science sub um, almost exclusively. Uh, there were a couple other days that I was pulled away from other curricula, but primarily I was the building math and science sub. Um, after Corcoran, I started looking around to see what other kind of opportunities there were. And I found opportunities in Manassas, Virginia at Stonewall Jackson High School. Uh, Stonewall Jackson High School, I stayed there for almost 10 years, just shy of 10 years. Um, I was uh, the pre-IB, I was one of the pre-IB chemistry teachers. Uh, Pre-IB is the class before International Baccalaureate Chemistry. Um, you might want, might want to think about it as honors chemistry. I also taught IB Chemistries 1 and 2, it's a two-year course. And I also taught active physics. Uh, while at Stonewall, I became the department chair for, for a group of about 22 of us. And I was there for, like I said, nine years. Uh, in June of 2004, I received an opportunity to move back to New York. And that's when I started at Canandaigua. Uh, I joined the Canandaigua staff then. And I started out as a chemistry teacher. I have taught, since I've been here, I've taught everything from regents chemistry, honors chemistry, chemistry in action and ecology currently i'm the chemist i'm a regions excuse me currently i'm an honors chemistry teacher as well as an ecology teacher um, i also have taught uh, chem in action and eighth grade physical science at our alternative school the canadagua academic and career center so let's start a little, talk a little bit about ecology ecology is a class that talks all about how how the students and everyone interacts with the environment and the the, uh, around them. So the de technical definition there is at the bottom, all of the topics related to the branch of biology that deals with the relations of organisms to one another and to their physical surroundings. Uh, in the ecology, we spend a considerable amount of time talking about um, the, uh, the human impact on the environment, as well as how we can um, affect our changes and uh, work towards balancing our impacts on the environment. Uh, we also do a significant amount of uh, outdoor and nature appreciation. Um, we do some horticultural classes uh, and some other um, uh, topics we throw in there occasionally in the fall. Um, in the past, we have worked on making honey or extracting honey. Uh, and in the spring, we do uh, maple syrup, collect, ma collect maple sap and make maple syrup. But um, enough about that. We'll talk more about that with the students. The grades for the class are pretty straightforward. Homework and classwork is 25%. Um, there is very little bit of classwork and homework. Uh, the only reason they would have homework is because they didn't do the classwork in class. Um, we have a great deal of participation assignments and discussions. Uh, most of the assignments are done through Schoology. 
Um, so we either do in-class assignments or we do Schoology assignments. If you pay attention to their Schoology grade book, I think you are tied into that. You should be able to see what they owe and what they don't owe. Um, so the Schoology grade book is a little bit separate. Well, it is separate from the Infinite Campus grade book. Um, and so that's another way of tracking their information. That's one of the things I want to point out is if a student is absent, they are responsible for checking their assignments on Schoology. Um, if they, when an assignment goes up on Schoology, they will have a 14-day window in which to complete it. After that, that 14-day window closes and that assignment is locked and they will receive no credit for that. Um, vacation work policy is pretty straightforward. If they are absent from class, I'm not going to give them something to do because that just makes it stressful for them. So we will um, work on getting them caught up when they come back. If you have any questions, please, please feel free to contact me at my email address. If you would rather talk to me, uh, email me a time that is convenient to call and I will call you back. Thank you so much for watching this. And if you have any questions, again, please feel free to contact me.